Back on the Coach's Corner, John Stanko of IcyGales.com being joined by Melissa Inoue, once again, head coach of the Iona softball team. Coach, busy week for you this past week. I believe you had six games in a matter of five days. Um, what were your overall impressions of the way your team played between two non-conference games and four MAC games? Um, a lot of ball was played last week. You know, the weather was a lot better um, overall. Um, not bad. I think, uh, you know, a play here, a hit here, or a pitch here or there, I think our outcome would have been a lot different. But overall, not bad uh, week. You had two non-conference games against Fordham and Army, and you got to see freshman Samantha Bender and senior Jessica Hardness get back in the circle after a couple of weeks off. What would you see from them on the rubber? You know, the, if anything, it was nice to see them kind of get in a groove and kind of get a start here or there and also come in relief. Um, so it was nice for them to get some action against some quality um, hitting teams with Fordham and Army, who both do well in the Atlantic 10 and Patriot League. And over the weekend, Samantha Bender picked up her fourth save of the season. She's number one all-time for single-season saves. Did you know she was in the record book like that? Uh, thanks to your Instagram post a couple of days ago, um, I wasn't aware. I knew she had racked up a couple saves, but I just didn't know where she sat record-wise. So kudos to her for coming in. Um, she never seems phased when uh, we put her into a tight spot. Her personality is about the same. Um, so it's a credit to her um, mental toughness for her to come into those kind of spots that we've put her in. Is that a role you see her staying at throughout either her freshman year here or her career? Or is that just going to be as a year-by-year -year decision, game-time decision every time out? I think that seems to be kind of her role right now. Um, she is such a compliment, uh, such a different um, compliment to our pitchers now. And she has been able to kind of get a key um, out here or there when we need it. So, um, again, I think it's a credit to her mental toughness and her ability to come into a tight spot and get us the ground ball when we need it. On Friday against Quinnipiac, senior Tori Danner absolutely lit up the batter's box. Against the MAC leader in ERA, the Bobcats' Casey Herzog, was it nice to see her bat finally light up? Yeah, I think it, she definitely looked like she was seeing the ball really well. And, uh, you know, as a, as a credit to a hitter, she sprayed the ball around. She went to all parts of the field and hit for some power. So I was happy for her because she's put in the time. And I think it was only a, a matter of her to see the success that she had. Now on Saturday against Fairfield, I talked to you in between games. And you said classic Iona Fairfield games, tight, low-scoring games. What did you take away from the two tough losses against the Stags? You know, it was kind of, uh, it was, I knew it was going to be kind of low run scoring. It's oh, Like I said, between games to you, it is classic Iona um, and Fairfield matchups. For as long as I've been here, it's always been a one or two run ball game. In fact, I think our scores on Sunday or Saturday were reflective of last year's um, game score. So uh, just classic Iona softball and um, Fairfield battles. But, um, you know, a play here or there, a hit, just a little bit more run support, I think, when it's a tight ball game like that. You know, um, unfortunately, a play here or there could make a difference in that day. Unfortunately, we were on the other side of it. But uh, classic good ball games for a fan to watch. And Tori Danner was able to go yard again, so she's still ha hot in the batter's box. Now, this upcoming weekend, you have a couple of big, important games and a couple of events with the softball team. Just to remind everyone, this Saturday is Youth Day. What can fans and maybe youth softball players expect when they come out to Donald E. Walsh Field? Well, it looks to be a decent weather day, about low 60s. So um, we'll have some trading card posters, game schedule posters, some T-shirts for sale, probably an ice cream truck out there. Um, any young softball players, you know, wear your jersey to the game and you're also able to run out with our starting lineup and stand out there for the national anthem and be on obviously a Division One college softball field. But it should be a great day. Uh, Mammoth is a great rival of ours as well as a, a great competitor in the conference. So overall, looking forward to this weekend's games. Now Sunday is a couple pair of big games against the Marist Red Foxes, but it's also senior day and you have four players who will be playing their final home MAC games. What can you say about this senior class and their final home MAC matchup? You know, the, these four seniors, um, Samantha Mello, Jessica Harkness, Tori Danner, and um, Courtney Miller, um, I think mature is the best word to kind of, uh, um, you know, describe them. They, from day one, have been um, very mature, handled themselves well off the field, on the field. Um, they all excel in the classroom really well. They all have their postgraduate plans already figured out, which is amazing at this time of the year. Um, but they are hard work, and it's really been fun to see them grow from their freshman year to senior year. And so it's... Um, thanks to their hard work and all their families for the support through the four years. Well, Coach, wishing for good weather in the upcoming weekend and best of luck. Go Gales.